loves. So today I have a crazy, crazy huge Sephora haul for you guys. I really wanted to haul some of the new holiday sets and palettes I got in for this season. I'm really, really excited to share them with you guys. I was going to wait until a bit later in the season to do this, but Ebates actually reached out to me and let me know that they are doing double cash back this week only on so many of your favorite stores and Sephora just so happens to be one of them. It is 8% cash back, which is double from what it normally is on Ebates this week. I'm just going to read off to you a few of the other stores. Sephora is 8% cash back. Overstock is 4% cash back. Longcomb is 8% up from 4%. So everything is doubled. Tom's is 10% cash back. So many stores are included in this fall promotion. So if you haven't already signed up for Ebates, I highly, highly recommend it. It is a cash back website. It's literally the best one I've ever used. I've tried a few and I have only stuck with Ebates. I use it every single time I go shopping online. I've actually got like the toolbar installed on my browser so that I can remember when it like flashes that I'm at a website that offers cash back. Sephora is on this deal on Ebates right now, plus there is like a sort of game on the Sephora homepage right now where you can get like various coupon codes and prizes, and one of them is a 10% off coupon code. So I thought that if any of you could get that, it would be a great time to stack the cash back with that coupon code. On top of that, you do get a gift card through Ebates when you make your first like qualifying $25 purchase. It's just a great thing, so I'll have a link for it down below, but I'm just going to show you everything I picked up. All of these sets and palettes I am doing like full-fledged reviews on, so I'm not gonna go ham and swatching department. I'm definitely going to show you quality and stuff, but I have probably close to 20 sets here, so we would actually be here for like two hours if I swatched everything. Plus, it would be redundant since I have videos coming up anyways. The first palette I wanna show is the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca eyeshadow palette. This is like a remix palette because last fall, I think, the original like Mi Vida Loca palette came out. Don't judge the way that I pronounce anything, by the way. But here is the color selection in here. You've got some neutrals here in the center. You've got a lot of really bright, some warm tones. I have done two looks now with this palette and I love it so, so much. Like I'll just kind of lightly dip my finger in a few shades here. Like, we're talking bananas pigmentation. The colors are super beautiful in here. I really like how they all play with each other. Like I said, I've created two looks with this, but I think that this might be one of my favorite sets of the entire year, and it's kind of early to say that, but it is so great in terms of quality, in terms of shade selection. I just think it's gonna be a great palette, and probably everyone could get some sort of use out of this. The next one I have to show you is from Too Faced. This is the Le Grand Palace palette and set. I really, really like this one. I've definitely already Already done my review on it as well and it is such a great little set it comes in this like pink box like so and you open it up and it's just the most precious thing you can see over here you've got like a um, sort of setting in the background of like a really beautiful house shadow insurance a little tiny melted lippy it's in the shade melted peony and then you have a little mini better than sex mascara and then right down here is the palette so here's the palette pretty nice and compact but you do have that gorgeous pack Packaging that is sort of an option if you want to keep it and here is the inside I love the background design right here I kind of wish there was a mirror but it's okay and then here we have all of the colors you have 18 shadows in total um, although I guess you could really classify these as highlights and then you have a bronzer a face highlight and then two blushes Again, the quality on this is so, so good, but I feel like they could have done a little bit better in terms of pairing products with this. These shadows are really glittery and chunky, and as much as I really do like them, I just feel like there's a lot of fallout. Can you see, like there's a lot of glitter, you have to be kind of careful. So I wish they had included their um, glitter primer instead. I think that would have been a better choice, but regardless, the color selection is really nice and soft. Mostly neutrals and smoky colors. I think that this is going to be a great palette for anyone who really likes intense um, glittery eyes or who really loves those smoky eyes. It's a great collection and I do like the products that they paired. Like I love Better Than Sex Mascara. I love the Melted Lippy. I'll actually swatch that for you. It's just like a beautiful bubblegummy pink and the size of this is amazing, um, especially paired with this palette but I just think that they could have done a little bit better in terms of like pairing products with it. Like this should probably be a nude considering how many like smoky colors are in the palette. Regardless, I do like it a lot and you can kind of wait for my full like set review on this, but overall I think it's really cute. 
I have two sets from Urban Decay, the first being the Vice 4 palette and the second being the Urban Spectrum eyeshadow palette. We're going to start off with Vice 4. This is the palette I played with the most from the holiday season lineup so far. So you've got this little pouch in here and then I will just go ahead and pull out the palette. This is the only review I do have up so I will link it down below. The brush is off in my beauty room somewhere I could not find it to save my life for this video. I don't know where it is. But here are the colors. This shade, Fastball, falls out of the palette. Um, it's not glued completely in, so I can't tip it too far forward or else it will fall out. But you can see in here, you've got 20 beautiful shades. It's a really healthy mix of smoky shades and neutral shades and really bright colors. This one is ridiculously, ridiculously pigmented though. The shades are a little bit rough, like they're really chunky in terms of that glitter and the texture however I feel like that doesn't translate onto the eye I feel like once they are like applied with a brush that sort of chunky glitter not really falls away but I feel like it tends to stay in place on the eyeball if that makes any sense so there's just a little sneak peek and again I will have that review down below okay so the urban spectrum eyeshadow palette looks like so I don't even think I've opened this up yet yeah no there's still styrofoam on the front I have not even like kind of looked at this but um, in terms of the packaging, this is just like a really um, quite loose topper, so I don't think that would be good for travel at all. You have a mirror on the inside of the palette, and then here is the shade selection. I just tipped it over and another eyeshadow fell out. What in the world? This is genuinely so bizarre. I've never had that happen with Urban Decay shadows, but apparently it happens with this palette as well. And here I feel like you have a really like very structured section of jewel tones up at the top. You've got green and blue and purple, and then you kind of branch off into these neutral shades, and you've got this like kind of oddball hot pink. I have not even swatched this yet, so we'll just give a few quick swatches. Really pretty shades, and these are quite pigmented as well. I mean, in terms of the difference in quality, I think that the Vice palette um, is almost a little bit more glittery and those shadows feel kind of rough because of all that glitter. Whereas the Urban Spectrum eyeshadow palette is just a bit smoother. There's more shimmer and it's finely milled. This one is like 55 and the Vice 4 is 60 and this one has 15 shadows instead of 20. So it just really depends on which shade selection um, you like better because I don't really know. I'm not really a fan of either packaging in terms of like durability or travel friendliness. But there is the Urban Spectrum eyeshadow palette. I definitely cannot wait to do some looks with this. I'm really feeling this top row of greens. I'm trying to be kind of careful because again there are shadows in both of these that do not want to stay in but there's kind of a quick side-by-side -side comparison um, if you wanted to see them right next to each other. So I got one Sephora collection this year. I saw this and I was immediately, immediately drawn to it. I don't know if they've ever put anything like this out before. I don't really keep up with the Sephora like exclusive holiday sets and kits, but this one was like incredible. I do apologize for my lights in the background and you can kind of see everything, but this is the Color Wonderland eyeshadow palette. And you can see on this side, you've got a ton of neutrals and smoky shades. On this side, you have your bright colors. You also have a base, and I'm assuming that's like a primer shadow, and then you've got a really strong highlight. You have two eyeliners, one in the shade black, and well, let me see, is it actually called black? No, it's matte black. Gun Metal Silver, and both of these I have not swatched, but they feel, I mean, at least the silver one did, let's see. They feel okay on application. That black is a little bit sheer, nothing awful though. You also do get a dual-ended brush in here. I was trying to get off the plastic and tore the actual brush off. This is apparently a video of like everything that is flawed with these holiday sets. I'll definitely glue that back on, but you can see here they're just both fluffy shaders. Um, they feel quite soft. They feel very, very, very nice, like super high quality, but it's the same brush on both sides. Um, I think that you could really use this for all over eyeshadow application. Like you could pack it on and then turn to the fluffy side and get right up and into the crease. So it's a really, really nice brush. I mean, just upon like initial swatch, and I'm trying to get as much as I can from this palette, this is gonna be one where the review is probably gonna be like a decade long. At first glance, quite pigmented. I feel like everyone is really loving these warm tones and the greens right now for some reason. Every single shadow I've swatched so far has had those. But yeah, that's kind of a quick overview of that. If this palette is really good, like if it stands up to application and all of that good stuff, 
it would be such a great buy because there are 72 freaking shadows in here 72 colors plus two eyeliners and a brush so yeah I definitely cannot wait to see if this palette is good let's take a mini break from these palettes and move on to this Marc Jacobs the Sophia Five Piece Petite Le Marga Lip Cream Collection. I really love the Marc Jacobs Lipstick Formula, so I was really excited to see this little set come out. You get this really nice little clutch. Um, I think it would be perfect for storing your sunglasses in or if you really needed like minimal stuff for a night out. It just says Marc Jacobs on the front and it's like a really soft patent material. Then inside you have the lipsticks and I'll go over what colors are in here. You have the shade Infamous and Infamous looks like just a soft mauve shade. It's actually very similar to the the color I have on right now. It's just a bit more pink and a little bit more muted. Dashing is just a true red shade. I think it's a little bit on the bluey side, yes. And it's so pretty. It's like the coolest berry toned shade. I'm obsessed with that. Next we have the color So Sophia. And So Sophia looks to be kind of like a corally pink shade, very, very like neon. We have Boy Gorgeous, which is a soft like magenta purple. <gasps> I love it so much. Lastly, we have Blow and Blow is, oh, I'm so excited about this lipstick set, you guys. It's kind of like MAC Rebel-esque. It's like a really dark berry toned purple. So those are the lippies in this collection. So far, I mean, just based on initial swatching, I'm obsessed. You absolutely 100% need this, especially if you like these kind of festive colors. You've got a great nude and four really nice bright and dark shades. Personally, I love the Marc Jacobs lipstick formula. I find that it lasts a really long time. It looks beautiful on the lips. So when I do a little overview of this, I'll definitely do lip swatches and let you guys know how the quality lasts up to a regular Marc Jacobs lippies. So Tarte very, very kindly sent me a few of their holiday sets as well. I have several, several things from this collection that I'm really excited about. So thank you so much to Tarte. This is their holiday brush kit and I was so excited. I really enjoy Tarte brushes. Like they're super good quality, which honestly means most of the time they're pretty expensive. You have a really beautiful blush brush and this is a very unique blush brush as well. It's like flat with a domed top. So I haven't tried it yet, but it feels Amaze balls on the cheeks. You have a synthetic buffing brush. I have one of these, like a full size one, and it's great for foundation. It's great for bronzer. It's a really nice multi purpose tool. You have a synthetic flat top brush, which again, great for liquid products, really nice for foundation and such. Oh my god, it's so soft. This one is quite firm as well, like not super firm. There's a little bit of give, but not a lot. So I think it's going to be really good for foundation. You have a synthetic concealer brush like so, just to get right under here. And I've never used a concealer brush before, so I definitely am excited to try that. And then lastly, you just have a very, very small, like clean cut flat brush. I'll update you guys in a favorites video or something if they shed, but I really don't think so. I've had Tarte brushes in the past and they are great, great, great quality and this is a good price. So speaking of Tarte, I also got this Lash Curler um, and Mascara Duo. I have bought this previously. I bought last year's and I really love the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes Mascara. This is one of my holy grails. It's such a good mascara. So the fact that it comes in here is a really nice little deal. And then you have this gorgeous, gorgeous eyelash curler. When I first saw this, I was like, that is going to be so impractical. Like, like I just thought this would be so uncomfortable and I promise you it is not. These um, stones are not jagged. They're not uncomfortable. They look gorgeous and give it such a flashy feel like I'm totally going to be leaving this out of my vanity. Plus the curler is amazing. I use a Tarte Lash Curler every single day that I bought for myself last year and it does come in this little set with a like replacement um, rubber thingy to curl said lashes so you don't hurt yourself or take out any lashes once that is worn out. So that is the Shine Bright Statement Lash Essentials. This is a holiday edition of the Maracuja Oil. I love the box for this. I really enjoy enjoy maracuja oil so much. It's just a very like friendly beginner oil, I think. There's never a bad time to add it into your makeup routine. It's really nice and hydrating at night. It's not too heavy to wear during the day underneath other moisturizers. It's a really great product. And as you can see, it just has like a special um, fancy schmancy rock top. And you can see here, you just use a little dropper 
and you get it out and put it all over your face. I really enjoy this. I'm so excited to have like a jumbo size special edition. It's beautiful. I bought this myself. This is the Blush It On Tarte Holidays um, blush palette and you have five Amazonian clay blushes in here. I bought this blush palette like the last year's edition. I, can I English today? I bought last year's palette last year, obviously, and I will say I feel like this year's feels kind of not as high quality in terms of the packaging, but I love the color selection so much. I'm totally willing to look past it. You have Fetching, which is a really pretty like amber brownish pink. You have Doll Face, which is just a dolly bright pink. Prim is like a soft neutral. Smashing is a corally color, and then lastly we have the shade Beaming, which is a lighter nude with a lot of shimmer. There are some super duper quick swatches for you, so we have Fetching, Doll Face right there, Prim, Smashing, and down here we have Beaming. Overall quality is great. These blushes are great. If you can get your hands on this palette, 1000% recommend. Um, like I said, I don't feel like the packaging feels as nice as years past, but that's totally okay. It is slimmer, which means it probably is going to be easier to store, maybe a little bit easier to travel with, but you will have to be more careful. Just had to take a little Snapchat break. Shout out to the Snapchat fam. Y'all are my babies. I am Loey Bug on Snapchat if you want to follow me. I'll start listing it down below. I never used to because I felt like it was very like hush hush only for my like OGs but you guys are all welcome to join the Snapchat party. So next I have the Tarte High Performance Naturals eyeshadow and blush and everything palette. The packaging on this is so beautiful. I'm so obsessed with this case. I really like this sort of, um, what would you even call this? It's like a geometric pattern that Tarte has on everything because it's so pretty and earthy with the mixed metals, but it's so sequiny and girly and I just love. So I'm just going to unzip it and show you guys what's inside. So right here is a little mirror, but in there it fits this little palette, which I will show momentarily. You have, and I'm so sorry to blind you guys, I really don't know how else to do this. You have a full size, just kidding, that's not a full size. Um, you have a travel size, lights, camera, lashes, mascara. You have a dual ended eyeshadow and crease brush, and this is pretty flat cut so I don't know how this is going to work uh, I was going to say I have this eyeshadow brush like in the full size but mine is more domed and I don't really know how that's gonna work that's actually kind of weird I wasn't expecting that down here we have an array of neutral shadows and you can see like look at this bad boy look at them neutrals there are 24 neutral colors in here and I love the shade selection. I feel like it's nice and warm and then there are some like darker and more cool tone shades. It's just very very user friendly in my opinion like every neutral you could ever want. And then in this little bad boy I almost was like oh this will be like a travel carrying case that you can pop the shadows out into because that's what they did last year and not that I didn't like that but that was just what I was expecting. But no it's a whole freaking separate palette. That's so cool to me. This is a more expensive product but you get a whole separate palette in here. So you get six more neutral shadows, a highlight shade in pink champagne, a blush in amaze, and a bronzer in social butterfly. This is going to be one of those where I'm definitely going to have to just review it, but I'll kind of swatch at random a few colors in here. Here's one of the eyeshadows in Shining Star. I mean, just glorious pigmentation. We'll swatch the highlighter as well in Pink Champagne and the blush in Amazed. I mean that blush swatch is pretty bad, but other than that, like it's an amazing, amazing little palette. And now I'll do swatches of some of the neutrals in the main chunk of the palette. I mean Tarte may have honestly just killed everyone else in the like palette game this year. These shadows are beautiful. They're buttery, they're smooth, they're ultra pigmented. I mean, I'm like the worst swatcher in the history of ever, but geez, I have not played with this yet, but I'm so excited now. So really only one of the Makeup Forever sets really interested me, and it is the 15 Artist Shadow Palette. I feel like the shade selection in this is very similar to the palette they did last year, except the shadows are much larger. In here, you just have an array of their eyeshadows, and if you've never used Urban Decay, Makeup Forever eyeshadows before. They are such good quality. They're so intensely pigmented. They're beautiful. So yeah, I'm gonna kind of put this head to head in its full review with the last year's palette, but at first glance, it's absolutely gorgeous. The shadows are 100% 
Makeup Forever quality. There's kind of a quick overview of those. I mean, just glorious. They're buttery and pigmented. You cannot go wrong with one of these, especially during the holidays because their shadows are not limited edition, but the palettes are. So I highly recommend if you like the color selection, getting it now. So that was the final shadow palette. Holy crap, there's a lot. The next thing I have for you guys is this Fresh Sugar Lip Delight, and this is $55 for this little set. The packaging is gorge on this too. You could literally just like hand this over to someone. It's just so beautiful. Like it looks like there's actual wrapping here on the bottom. I think it's gorgeous. Essentially what happened for me and the reason I fell in love with this formula is when I was in New York City and I went to Sephora, I tried the shade Honey on the back of my hand. I fell in love and I knew I had to have more colors. So $55 for all of these is a great deal because the full size one which are bigger than this, but the full size ones are like over $20 in themselves. So in here you have two basic lip balms. This is just the um, lip treatment with SPF 15, so just a clear balm. And then the same thing, but this is the advanced therapy lip treatment. So this one's probably good for the day. This one's good for the evening when you don't need SPF. Then we do have five colored lip balms. So we have the shade Fig, and this is like a really pretty pinky, purpley, beautifulness. Um, as you can see here, it's just super sheer and I'm not going to swatch all of these. I will save that for the review, but you also do have the shade nude and in case you did not already know, this is just a really light, soft, peachy nude. We have just the shade Rose, which they are very famous for. This is like a bitten reddish pink color, and I will swatch this because I love this color. I used to have this. As you can see, it's very sheer. You're not getting a whole lot of color payoff. These are nice for natural days, or if you just don't want too much color, you have the color Tulip, and this is just a bright bubblegummy pink. Lastly, we have a color I've never seen before, and this is the shade Ruby, and this just looks like a dark red. So they are sheer. You know, if you are someone who really likes the formulation of these, I would absolutely recommend them, but they are sheer lippies. You're not getting as much of a punch as you are in the Marc Jacobs lip set. So if you're looking for something opaque, I recommend that. If you're looking for something for the natural days, totally recommend this set. So Sephora recently started carrying Burberry makeup, and I was so excited. I've never actually tried anything from Burberry before, so I got this little set and this is not a cheap set but it does contain some of Burberry's most popular products. You have the Fresh Glow Luminous Base and this is just like something that you can mix into your foundation or a liquid highlighter. It's a very small tube, very travel friendly. You have a lipstick in the shade Military Red and it's just a bright, bright red shade. In case you can't tell from the packaging on the outside here, they're very into their plaid designs and it's even on the lipstick bullet which is so fancy and so beautiful. This is kind of like a sheer glossy red, but I think it's gonna be gorgeous for the holiday season. We have the Light Glow Contouring Powder for face and eyes. This is essentially the size of an eyeshadow, so you could definitely use it to contour the cheeks or you could use it just as a very natural shadow color. I love it. And it's again, very like small and compact. The packaging on these, especially for being travel size products, is amazing and so sturdy. The last thing that we have in here is just a very tiny brush to apply set contour, super soft, great for travel. So that is a little Burberry set that I wound up getting. And I swatched those colors and I was immediately so impressed that I wound up buying two more things from the Burberry line. The two things I got are the Eye Color Cream in the shade Pink Heather. And when I was on the Sephora website, just kind of looking and seeing what I wanted to get, I noticed that almost every other shade of this line was sold out and there were only a few of these left. So I was like, there has to be a reason. So as you can see, it's again, just in that like, plaid packaging. It's so pretty. And then you have the shadow. And this is kind of like a mauve dusty pink. I'll go ahead and give that a quick swatch. It feels like a cream to the touch. Which I'm assuming is why it's called a cream. It's definitely a cream shadow. But look at how pretty. It's almost like a maroon on the hand. A very soft muted maroon. I think this is going to be gorgeous for fall. And I definitely want more shades of these as long as it wears well in the eyes. The texture is so thin but it's so pigmented. I'm so excited. It also also did come with this little baby brush and it's just a very small synthetic brush. I probably will keep this and use it as a lip brush. Then you have the Burberry Kisses Hydrating Lip Color and I got this in the shade Garnet. I was looking up swatches online and I definitely wanted something I didn't have anywhere else in my makeup collection. I feel like it kind of is at the point with my makeup collection where everything is really starting to blend in and look the same but this looked so 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 unique. Again you do have 
that plaid embossing on the lipstick bullet so beautiful and the shade is just a sheer plummy red color i really really like this and i think it's going to be a gorgeous color for every day during the fall another limited edition holiday item i wound up getting is this cinderella holiday compact mirror and they have several different princesses they have an elsa and anna one they have i believe like a bell one and aurora one they have so many and they keep coming in and out of stock i won't show you the inside because it's just a compact but look at the outside it's so beautiful and this was ridiculously ridiculously expensive but it feels really like nice Nice and weighty like it's very high quality and I'm sure it won't break or anything like that and I got Cinderella like I said so in the inside you can kind of see the silhouette of Cinderella it's so so beautiful and on the back it says the right shoe can transform your life which is very very true so I picked this up just because I'm a huge Disney fan and I really enjoyed this I thought I would get myself a nice compact mirror for my purse I really hope Sephora comes back with their Disney sets because I miss them a lot I have one last item to share with you guys and this is not a holiday thing I saw Shan XO you this color in a recent tutorial it is from buxom and it is one of their lip gel bold gel lipsticks sorry and it is in the shade guilty angel and it's just a really pretty warm tone of pink and I just had to have it, especially for like lighter makeup days. I thought it would look so beautiful. And then I do have some smaller items to share with you guys. This is the most important one because if you don't wind up getting that 10% off coupon that I mentioned that you can find through the like game or raffle or whatever it is on the Sephora website, you can like get a new one every single day. But in case you don't get that one, this is a really good option too if you are a VIB or a VIB Rouge. It is a free little Beauty Insider Buxom set that you get with $35 purchase and it is tokens of temptation and I just thought this was so so good for not even being like a point perk not being anything as long as you're a VIB or a VIB Rouge you can get this so in here you do get the full-on lipstick I think this is in the shade Rosetto and it's just a like mauve reddish plummy color really really nice you get a full-on lip polish and this is in the shade Erin and Erin is just a baby pink and these are so nice this one is super sheer and I've been wearing it on like lighter makeup days I don't even know if you're gonna be able to tell where I swatched it it's just a very glossy gloss they are minty though so if you don't like that be warned the last thing I have is a full-on lip cream and this is in the color berry blast and this is such a fall color it's really nice and full coverage and opaque and it's glossy and I'm really really excited so I will have that coupon down below for you VIBs and VIB rouges I got a freebie of the glam glow super mud clearing treatment I've always 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 wanted to try this and I've always been really scared by the full size so I just have a little tube this will probably be really good for traveling as well I got a small size of the Yves Saint Laurent touche clot blur primer I'm a little bit nervous because it's like a clear base with glitter in it and the application seems to be a spatula or a doe fit. I'm really not sure what it is so I will probably do some sort of video on this and let you guys know. I got the Cover FX custom cover drops because I really wanted to try these. I got them in the shade N50 and I'm not sure how they will match with my super pale self right now. Probably not well. I will probably have to fake tan to use those. And the last thing I got was a 100 point perk and it is this little Givenchy Le Rouge a Porter lipstick and I was really excited to see this as a little perk. It looked so, so pretty. It's a warm tone pink, kind of like that Buxom lip gel, but it's a little bit more sheer. Um, they're essentially the same color though. There is the Givenchy one. So if you're looking for something similar that's not as expensive, I would recommend the Buxom lip gel. So that is it for this crazy huge Sephora haul you guys. I don't think I've ever had a haul this big before I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found it helpful. Like I said, I'm reviewing so many of these things I'm going to do kind of like overview videos of what's good and what's not so good I'm gonna do individual reviews Just let me know what you want to see and I will make sure to do that If you did enjoy make sure to give me a thumbs up subscribe if you have not already if you have not already signed up for Ebates I cannot recommend it highly enough again I do have a link for you guys down below now is absolutely the time to join save yourself some money get some cash back in your pocket to do a little bit more shopping and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and go i love you guys so much and until next time i will see you very very soon bye